Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I am now the proud owner of a uh, Wacom Intuos 5 tablet and I absolutely love it. Uh, and I've been planning a series of videos about it for a while now but <clears throat> I, you know it takes a while for me to set my Wacom up because I do it by virtue of how I paint. You know, when I'm painting, if I see that there's some command I need to be able to get to quickly, then I will either put it on a, a custom palette or add it to the Wacom tablet. So we're going to talk about all of that. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about uninstalling and then installing uh, a new driver. Since we just had a new driver posted for the Mac, and we've had one posted for the PC earlier, but the Max is uh, just about a week or so old. I thought this would be a good topic to start with, as if you already have your tablet, whether it's an Intuos 3, an Intuos 4, Intuos 5. All of this that we're going to talk about should, um, should work for all of those. Okay? Now, the company policy, <laughs> Wacom, puts out this information here. Uh, for a Mac driver, they say, open your application folder and locate any tablet or Wacom tablet folders you have. Use the utility in each of these folders and click remove under the tablet software. Okay, you can do that. But I believe there's an easier way to do it. And I'd like to show you that way. Um, what my friend said is you go to your library and then under library, you click on application support. And then you go to drive to tablet and you open up the Wacom tablet utility. Okay, it's called Wacom tablet utility. Now on this little Wacom tablet utility, there are several things you can do from one spot that you need to do uh, before you install a new driver. The first thing you want to do is save a copy of your tablet preferences. And so all you would do is you would click here on backup. It would, uh, a window pops up and ask you where you want to save the backup. Now I have a folder in my documents that is called uh, custom painter stuff. And inside of that folder, there are many subfolders. And one of those is Wacom tablet drivers. And this is where I put my backup. Okay, so I just click on that and then save it to a place where I know I can find it. All right, after you've backed up your uh, software, the next thing you want to do is uninstall the current driver. Now, that's real important. If you install over the current driver with the new driver, you can sometimes get problems. So they, it is suggested that you remove the old drivers and software. It's not just uh, the drivers, but you remove all the software as well. Okay, on your Wacom tablet utilities, underneath backup and restore and remove, you have tablet software remove. Now, what that tells us is if I click that, it will uninstall the tablet software and the driver. So click that and go through that process of uninstall. Now, if there are any screen prompts, just follow the screen prompts. If it asks you to restart your computer, which I don't think it's going to, but I'm not positive, then restart your computer. You know, all of those things. All right, after this has been removed, <clears throat> now the next thing that you will do is you will go to... Um, Let's, you'll go to your, wherever you have your download, where you've copied your, your download from the, uh, from the Wacom site. And it will be a DMG file for the Mac. And what you do is double click on that GM file, D, a DMG file, and it will begin installing the software. Go through the prompts, do everything that you need to do. If it tells you to restart, then restart. But again, I'm not sure that it will. Okay, so after you've uh, installed the new software from the driver that you had downloaded, 
are from the file you downloaded. Then you want to go back and open up your Wacom Tablet Utilities again, and this time you want to click on Restore, and that will restore your current settings uh, of your Wacom Tablet. Uh, so remember when you, at some point, you, you have this Wacom Tablet Properties, and you can set up all sorts of, uh, you can customize it completely for your own use. And after you've customized that, it takes a while. Rather than having to redo it again after you change drivers, you want to you want to back it up, and then you want to restore it. So that's what restore does. It restores the the current settings that you have for your Wacom tablet utility, and that's it. You're back. Uh, up to snuff. <laughs> you now have your new Wacom uh, driver installed. Okay, so now what we'll do is go to the PC. Okay, talk to you later. Hope that helped. Bye-bye.